Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. It's Thursday, so that means I take a look at one of your designs that you have linked to me in a comment section of one of my videos. No matter how big or small it is, how simple or how complex, I will take a look at it eventually. But for today's video, we're going to be looking at the TWC01 Boarhounds Heavy cargo hauler and the Lancer energy weapons trailer which is this thing right here. So we get a little hauler that can pull the trailer along and the trailer, the trailer is the thing which made me want to do this, it's absolutely fantastic when you see it. But before we go any further in this video I did see a comment asking me how much I charge to do these types of videos and the answer is I don't charge at all, I do these because I want to do these. If you have a recommendation for what you want me to showcase, I will take a look at it eventually, and yeah, it costs nothing, I just do these for fun. But anyway, with that out the way, let's go around. So this does use modded blocks, and no DLC blocks, which is the first in quite a while actually. So around the front here, we have got some modded cockpits. These are the little DX-11 cockpit, and fighter cockpits, which have been used on this ship. They're a little bit fiddly to get in, if I was to come up to it, there's quite a few places where you just can't access it. You have to look at it directly from the front if you want to be able to get into it. And once you're in, it's a pretty good view actually. The only problem is when you go to the back one, because you just have a bloody great screen in your face. But enough of that for now. So around the outside, we've got some lovely wheels. We have got our connector there for us to connect up to a base, or maybe a small ship to recharge ourselves. As we come along, we see some nice block work there for a fake little ladder. This is a small block vehicle, so it cannot use the proper ladder, so you have to improvise. We have a advanced rotor on there, which is how we can connect and disconnect from the uh, trailer. Coming around here, we're going to do a sneaky one and come around the trailer. We've got some little lights there. Yes, our little brake lights. And as we come along to here, we have like a little, little holding bay for us to sit in if we wanted to. So we could just sit in here, chill out a little bit. And all that. Yes, coming back round again for the actual hauler itself. We just have some plain vanilla blocks. It's a really well done little hauler there. I do like the cockpits, how they've set them up. And yes, on the top there, we have got our Gatling turret to keep us nice and safe from any pesky, fast moving pirates. We've got hydrogen engines which have been hidden in there. And that's why the power of the vehicle is turned off, because they do make quite a lot of noise. But what about the trailer that comes with it? Because this is all together in one little pack. If I come over to my spawn menu, here it is. It's 9,108 blocks and it comes attached to the trailer. Let's get rid of that for now. So the trailer has got some very fancy block work going on here via the blast door edges. Coming across there, we've got some lights. Hidden away in here, we have even more blast door edges which are hiding what's inside. This is basically the small little air vent system because you can go inside it. If we come down a little bit, we can see the wheels there. We've got two little ramps here that can be deployed. So we've got the one up at the top there, which I'll come to later. And then we've got the one at the bottom, which I'll once again come to later. I need to switch the power on first. So I'll very quickly switch the power on and we're going to take a look down here. So I'm going to come across and press this button and it's going to open up. We can then hop inside, if my character can jump, there we go, and we have a few buttons. These two over here, the closed trailer, open trailer are for the door above. The ramp button is what we just came in. So now we are on the interior, not too much going on here with just a fancy little passenger carrier little pillar there. We've got a lot of time blocks there, we even have some programmable little blocks here. If I go on there, we have got the mouse aimed rotor, which are whip scripts. We've got the rotor torsion spring, and we have got nothing going on in that one. We've got a small reactor there to power our vehicle, which we can access. I'm just going into the panel, there's nothing in there, because I'm on creative. And we've got little seats going around here, so you can just sit in here and get carried along. So let's just open up this doorway. And off we go. So like I showed just a minute ago, we do have four cockpits on this vehicle. The two at the back do nothing. So if you wanted to, you can set them up to control the little Gatling turret over there and control other things should you wish. But for the moment, they do nothing. The one on this side here basically has the same controls as the main cockpit there. It just has a lot less of them. And yeah, it's basically the same. 
So let's hop into here and bring up the HUD. Come over to tab number one, we have some options. So number one and number two are for triggering the trailer. Because our wheel controls there, which we don't need to touch, are attach and a detach, our landing gear locking, the piston for the landing gear, and a camera for reversing the truck into the trailer. So if I come out and find my free camera, which is over here, and just move it all the way around to here, press number eight, we can lift up the landing gear and drive around. But if you want to deploy the trailer, press number eight, and it will very slowly go to the ground, lock itself, lift it up. We can now press number six, which will disconnect us from the trailer. So I can now get into here and we can drive away. So this is a little trailer by itself. Speedy little thing, very speedy. And we can just keep going around and around. I'm not going to do what happened to that trailer there and crash into it. But I'm just going to come over to here. Stop. Press number nine so we can see our reverse trailer. And we're going to go this way. Come on. My Euro truck experience has to pay off at some point. So reversing myself into position, I could probably do it like this. There we go. Good old camera. And then I want to attach myself. There we go. Everything's fine. I have attached myself to the trailer. Perfectly fine. Nothing bad has happened. Back to my free camera. So now what I'm going to do is just come up here and turn myself so I'm facing the trailer like so. And I'm going to press number one. It opens up to reveal a bloody great rail gun. But that's not it. Oh no, it gets even worse. Because once that has been deployed, we can now get out of the cockpit, fly around and get into the little cockpit over there. But let's just do it properly this time. We can come over to here. The little ramp from earlier has opened up, so I can now just say hop onto here. We have a little button there in case you get trapped in here, you close it up and you can't get out. But now we need to come across past the rail gun and get into this cockpit right here. And then when we go to first person in the cockpit, we have some lovely controls on our screen. So I don't have to say them. Number one is to unpack the turret. Number two is to fold the turret. Three is to open the cover and four is to close. Three and four are from the main cockpit itself. We then have number five if we want to manually shoot the laser. Number six to a rotor lock the turret. And number seven is the camera to view the turret and shoot it wherever we want. But let's come back to the free camera and I'm going to zoom in a bit all over to here. And press number one. So the turret raises up. And when it's fully raised up off its piston, it deploys itself. Look at this lovely thing. Amazing. It's great what you could do with blast or edges, it really is. So we're just going to come along here and take a look at the turret now. So the turret has been deployed. We have our camera there, which is how we're going to view and aim the turret. Coming along here, we have our blast or edges. Dropping down, we can see the lights going off in a small little pattern. Like that. We can see the modded turret sitting in there. Okay, let me just squeeze in a bit closer. There is the modded cannon sitting in like that. That's the best view I can really get of it. And let's just zoom out a bit. We then have lights on the outside. We then have like these capacitor things made out of blast or edges. And yeah, we can see all the little folding mechanics of the turret. And there's some pistons there, which is how it also folds out. But yes, now, if I come back into my character again, I can press number seven. Now that we've got number seven, I can press number six to unlock the turret and we can move it. And then we can fire it. Oh yes. A little bit of a reload on this turret, but we can just keep firing it. We can if you want to aim down a bit further, but it takes a little bit of work getting there. So I'm just going to shoot the wheels off the one that I tested with earlier. Because I made a little bit of a mistake with that and tried to close up everything with the turret still deployed. So we can continue on to shoot the turret. If I was to say get into my free camera and then just turn myself a little bit. We can see it fire from here. Boom. It's quite a good little turret actually. We can continue on there. There's part of the ground where I shot it. It leaves a very nice little hole in the ground. Here is the poor vehicle that I've been shooting. 
So it does quite a lot of damage by itself, the modded turret. If I was to uh, come out of there, come out of there, and find the actual turret, I believe it was the laser cannon, which is over here. Let's just go and take this out and I'll plop it down like there. I believe it was this one anyway. So that is the little cannon which is being fired. It looks quite nice like that, doesn't it? Really nice modded block. But if you notice there, as soon as I stopped aiming, the cannon rotated. So let's try that again. So I'm aiming over in that direction so I can fire it. Boom, everything's great. But if I was to get out the cockpit, the turret will automatically turn to its original position. And there we go. And when it's all done, we can then rotor lock it to stop it from turning around. We can then press number two to fold it back into place. There it goes. Then we can press number four to start packing this all up. And there that goes. Really nicely done, this trailer. I love things that can fold out. I'm always afraid of building them myself because, well, clang, basically. But you might notice a small problem. I am trapped in here. I have no way to escape. So I have to come all the way to the back and press the little button. It will open up the trailer and allow me just to hop out. Then after a bit of time, it will close up again. So what I'll do next is something that you shouldn't do, but I found it was kind of fun. Is if we were to say, let's open up the trailer above us. There we go, we got our manual button to open up that. So I'm going to hop into the cockpit. I'm now going to deploy the turret. And I'm going to close up the trailer. Oh yes, I am a madman. Here we go. <laughs> Sacrificing the trailer to Clang! And yes, that is what happens when you, uh, well, close the trailer up with the turret still deployed. And if you were to try and undeploy the turret while the trailer is closing, game just sort of, well, says no. Oh, it's trying. It's trying. Maybe if we opened up the trailer once again, it would help. There we go, I'm sure this is fine. This is all fine, I think. <laughs> so yes, you have to be very careful when deploying... I, what? <laughs> when deploying and undeploying this thing, because you need to have the turret fully undeployed before you try and close up the trailer, or you get something horrific like that. But now it's time to take this thing for a little ride, I feel. So I'm just going to get into the cockpit to the front there. There we go. I'm going to undo the lock. I shouldn't have done I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Help. So yes, as I was saying, in fact I've completely forgotten what I was trying to say. So anyway, I shall restart that. Ignoring all the trucks littered everywhere, I've been having a small issue with it flipping over due to silly reasons. Yes, the truck itself, the hauler at the front there, is quite a nice design, actually. I really like what they've done with the cockpit. It's, it's actually a very sleek design. As for the trailer itself, it's, again, fantastic the way it folds out, and the, how the turret folds out as well is amazing how people can get this to work without sacrificing it to Lord Clang and blowing up the game. But anyway, ignoring the explosions in the background, it's a fantastic design, and I highly recommend you download and play around with this, because it's just a lot of fun, actually. I absolutely love people's designs that can fold out without blowing up. So anyway, it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and try it out yourself. Remember, it does require modded blocks, but it does not require the DLC. And I'll be back with another one of your creations that you recommended to me on a another day. Bye-bye.